Hello all and welcome to another metal casting video. This is going to be uh, another uh, pewter one. Uh, I've got a nice stack of pewter that I got at a thrift store recently and I found some other stuff which I will show you in a bit. And uh, I've ordered uh, some items online, uh, mainly molds. Let me show you what I got. I think I got most of this stuff off of Etsy. I got a skeleton mold. There's really tiny bits in here, so I wonder if this will work. Got some skulls, a couple of different ones, and got this one. Now this is uh, quite sturdy stuff, and it, I'm not really sure if this is actual silicone. Uh, this was advertised as a ice cube mold, but it said that it was silicone. And I've tried ice cube molds before that were, I think, rubber, which uh, ended in uh, failure and molten rubber. These are silicone. And uh, I got a nice little owl. Now, I know someone who collects owls. If you've seen a video I did uh, about a year ago, I think, for a friend where I cast uh, an aluminium owl, I will be making a couple of these. And I've also learned that Dusty Blonde, Snobby Scrap Picker's wife, also collects owls. So um, I'm probably going to be making quite a lot of these and uh, giving them away left and right and sending Dusty, of course, uh, a couple of, as well. I also got Steward, a minion. This is a um, very flimsy mold, and this is also silicone. I'm really not sure if this stuff is all going to be um, resistant to the higher temperature, so I'm going to carefully try using pewter, and then uh, move on up uh, to lead and later zinc, maybe, if, uh, if possible. For anyone uh, that knows um, the craftsman, uh, from uh, Steady Crafting. He uh, makes some uh, awesome little figurines and, and has all kinds of uh, uh, creative videos on all kinds of things. And uh, at some point he made a character called the Mail Snail. This was actually um, designed by his son, who he calls Craft Son. So, uh, yeah. Um, and uh, because of uh, mail snail, I thought, who do we know who is very slow with mailing out stuff? There's only one person that comes to mind, is Ian Matthews. So if you remember the bronze bar that I made uh, recently in one of my uh, uh, last videos, I made a bronze bar so that I could try to cast this in bronze. So I'm going to have to make a mold of this and uh, see if that'll work and try to cast a little bronze male snail now if that works i will probably be making more maybe i'll make one out of brass aluminium maybe even pewter i don't know so yeah got a nice stack of pewter here and i've actually noticed that there's some difference in this stuff this is really flimsy you can bend this all the way all really soft and this is quite tough so I'm guessing this has like antimony in it and uh, maybe even other stuff again this is really soft and this one is slightly stronger again so it's all different type of pewter so I'm going to be trying to melt each individual piece and uh, see how uh, well the pewter works and uh, at the same thrift shop I uh, saw this this is usually for like I don't know for chimneys and stuff for uh, for the fireplace and uh, this is probably to to like put logs on there and uh, it kind of reminded me of a crucible tongue i thought initially it was one but it uh, this whole set came uh, with the three different uh, pieces not sure if i'm going to be using uh, these at all but the crucible tongs i'm going to try to copy and it came with this. Th these three together were like five euros, so that's like what five dollars fifty or so. But this thing actually, I filed away at the tip. There you go, and it looked all golden. So this thing is brass. So guess where that's going to end up? And then there was this, a really big drum. I'm not sure about uh, how many gallons this is, but I'm guessing uh, a standard is like a 55 gallon drum. Not really sure. 
could be a smaller one but it had the diesel on it which I don't care much for there here next to my uh, foundry it's uh, even slightly bigger it's about uh, the same size as the tree stump and the same uh, circumference as well um, I will somewhere in the future be making a new uh, a new furnace this one is made with just uh, uh, refractory cement so it's really heavy and when I'm going to be making one of this I'm probably going to be using a layer of kale wool and then a layer of uh, high temperature refractory brick which uh, also doesn't weigh that much and then smooth the inside out with uh, um, the refractory cement and make a slightly well, better uh, foundry out of this and probably better insulated as well because uh, well you see uh, my lid broke and the inside is kind of crumbling so uh, look for that in the future I can't give you a date on that could be months probably before I start on that project but at least I now have the thing so yeah that's uh, basically what I've been up to uh, uh, the last few weeks so uh, let me set everything up so that uh, we can uh, melt some of this pewter and see if uh, we can make some interesting shapes. Right, let's start by melting some small amounts of pewter to see uh, if we can get uh, some nice uh, shapes in the molds. Now this is the soft stuff, so let's just break this off. It's all really soft stuff, there we go. Bendy bendy. I think this should be enough to start with. Maybe this bit too. There we go. There we go. Let's get a bit more in there just to, just to be sure. We can get some of this slag off here. All right, who's first? Try this one, skull. Let's give this a couple of minutes. Right, it's all solid, but it's still really hot. It's probably going to take quite some effort to get this thing out. And I don't think it's wise to dump it in the water. So uh, let's put this one aside and uh, melt some more pewter. Even the silicone is quite hot, but it's okay. Let's melt some more pewter and try well, try this one. Should this one should come out uh, a lot easier if this is actually silicone. We'll shall see. All right, I'm gonna probably need a bit more for this because it's quite big. Oh wow, solidified in the pot. I wonder, it's bubbling quite a bit. I don't think it's melting through. Let's give this a couple of minutes as well.
quickly do this one. Well, now we have four, three skulls and an owl. I'm going to give this a couple of minutes to uh, to cool down and then uh, I'll be back uh, to take them out of the molds and see what we got. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes, I think, maybe 15. Let's see what we got. Let's start with this little owl. Oh, that actually doesn't look bad. That came out the, the, this way. This came out really nice. Look at that little little feller. That is very really nice. I know some people who will be very happy with these little owls. Let's see. Oh, let's open the first skull. I wonder if this will come out in a decent way. I have no idea might be all Ooh, I wonder oh, I think it, this way will work wow that's actually very good dang it's almost like a terminator wow I didn't expect it to be this good. I thought it would be full of holes and pock marks. There we go. Now let's see about this. And the molds hold up to the heat, so that's good. This is awesome. Right, let's get this big orange one. See if this will come out. Shouldn't be too difficult. Aye aye. Oh, this one's still kind of warm. Got a shrink hole in the eye, and the nose didn't come out as well. Or did it? No, it got some bubbles at the nose here. Still not that bad. Not that bad. Nice. The other one here. I'm kind of thinking this one, I, I'm the least confident about this one. Mainly because it was already solidifying when I was pouring. Come out! Oh, what do we got? What do we got? Huh. Not as uh, detailed as the other one. This has a couple of bubbles in it like a deteriorating skull also not bad as it's uh, uh, an effect it gets oh, even the, the lines are on there so not bad not bad So yeah, really like the owl. Um, this one came out best. This one I kind of like as well. This uh, might need some. Uh, this one might need recasting. Well, this one probably too. I'm going to be uh, experimenting with all these uh, molds and uh, make uh, make a, a bit more. Maybe I'll cast a steward as well. Let's see if that will work. And uh, maybe even give uh, give this a try. It's going to be quite tedious and uh, 
Not sure if this will work. I'll probably try to just cast the skull. That should work. But yeah, um, I'm quite satisfied with uh, this so far. I'm gonna um, spend uh, the rest of the day trying to get uh, some uh, more of these cast and I'll show you uh, the results when uh, that's all done. This is going to be a mess and this is already solidified. I really need a better setup for this. Well, I'm going to have to wait for that. See about this monstrosity. Some of the details came out okay. Large bubble here, large bubble there, there. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to be more careful with this and make sure it's uh, more liquid. Right, so I've been at it for uh, about an hour and uh, did some experimenting. So these are the ones that uh, I got out first and um, kind of okay, got some shrinkage in the eye. The owl came out pretty nice, even though the feet didn't fill up completely. And this one uh, fell on the floor. And this one ended up with a lot of bubbles. and. Uh, not a stable base. So I'm going to be remelting these three because I've uh, remembered a video that I saw about someone casting pewter and uh, they put uh, baby powder or talc in uh, the silicone molds, which I have also done. Also had a go at uh, the skeleton. The torso and the, and the head came out quite good. Rib cage uh, looks very, uh, very detailed and the spine and the Pelvis, and uh, not bad, not bad. It's quite tedious to, to try to get that in there, uh, but yeah, the arm is really, really small stuff to cast, uh, and uh, got a lot of spillage. So I'm going to be remelting this, and I'm probably not going to try doing this again. But uh, let me give you an uh, a bit. Let me put this aside. So yeah, you put some talc uh, in there and uh, brush it off and make sure it gets in uh, in all the details and then uh, blow it out and there's a really thin layer stays in there. So yeah, let me compare. Let's see here. So here you go. No talc with talc. Look at this. This is uh, the same quality as the, the big Lego man uh, that I made uh, recently. That came out really good as well, even though I didn't use any, any talc or, or baby powder. So I'm going to be re remelting this one as well. And uh, here's the small skull that uh, was kind of a mess. And the one I did use the talc on came out a lot better, but there's a flaw in, in the mold where the eye uh, cavity uh, is not filling up. And um, I don't really uh, like this one. The, the bigger skull that I made. Where is that? Oh, that's over here. It's the other mold. I think this is... Uh, is this the first one or the second one? I'm not really sure. I think this is the first one without the talc. Let me get the other one here. Here's another one with the talc. Uh, it's not that much difference in here because these, these are both pretty good. These came out really well. I'm gonna got another one. 
I made uh, made quite some, got uh, some more over there. And uh, the owl, let me see here, this is the, so no talc, with talc. See how shiny and nice this came out. I'm going to be remelting that one and uh, keeping this one. And I got another one down there, which uh, also came out really nice. Um, the minion I tried three times and that was a mess. I think this is too shallow and too flimsy. I'm going to, I am going to try again, not today. I'm just going to make some more skulls and uh, a couple more owls. And, uh, I'll show you when I'm all completely done with this. And I'm going to try to get a really big pile of uh, nice little shapes. Maybe you even get some uh, more Lego man made. Uh, I mean, I have uh, more pewter to melt. And uh, this stuff will be remolten. And this one. And this one. There. So... Uh, Oh, and the, the owl didn't come out that good there. So, I'm going to uh, go ahead and uh, have uh, some more fun melting all this stuff. And uh, I'll see you when I have a complete pile of all this stuff. Mm, perfect. Let's make another hand grenade. I made a video just about this uh, one uh, a while back. I'm gonna coat this with uh, the powder and uh, use this small wooden frame to like bury it in the sand so that it will stay together. And uh, if I then overspill, it's not a big problem. So. Uh, I'm gonna go set that up and then melt the next part. Got this thing nice and tucked in the sand uh, so that the sides won't uh, split apart. Let's uh, melt this big thing. Let's try a slightly different approach. There, the whole tankard is now molten and in this little pan. Let's uh, see if we can pour something here. Let me set you up. Come on, it's splitting apart somewhere. Oh, right, that's the, the vent hole. Uh, solidify. Right, let's give this a couple of minutes to solidify and then dig this thing out. 
Right, got something to drink. Now I'm back. Let's see if this mess yielded something. Uh, might be handiest if I just take the whole thing over to my tote of green sand. Oops, still hot. Does feel solid though. Sand is all nice and warm. Try not to leave much, leave any metal in there. Oh, well, that's a nice piece to remelt. How did it come out? Oh, not bad. This actually came out way better than the one I made in my first video, probably because of the parting powder. It's a bit of flashing because uh, probably the, the pieces opened up a bit. Oh yeah. Or opened up a lot. Hand grenade, nice. Smelt some more stuff and make some more other items. quite cool down shrinkage uh, the middle part fun though even funnier is the fact that I molten I have molten down some pewter spoons uh, to make the big Lego man uh, in uh, my uh, in one of my recent videos so uh, this is not that interesting uh, because well yeah you can't really use these but Fun though, I think I'm going to remelt these. Let's see about this thing here. And another nice looking skull. Very well detailed. This is quite a big solid block, so quite hot. And another nice little owl. Nice and shiny. Let's melt some more and make some more.
perfect little owl. And again, the Nintendo controller has a huge sinkhole. I don't get this. The others come out damn near perfect. You can uh, see the details, the B and the A button, but this is a big sinkhole, not so much back in the pot. See about Spider-Man here. Ooh. So smooth it just slides out. There. Even better than the first one. Well, let's cast some more. Okay, how about now? Hey, that looks better. This is actually the best one so far, I think. Nice, finally. Lego blocks next. Let's see. Wonder if these will work. This will probably bubble. Yeah. Go. That was all. This is going to be a mess. I have a feeling I'm going to be remelting these. Well, at least they're nice little ingots now. Well, let's see what these have become. Oh, not bad actually. Even though it bubbled quite a bit. Skull. Oh, that got a shrink hole. I'm going to be remelting this one. Let's uh, do those again. This one is the least bad. I'll keep these two just for uh, for the sake of it for now. Can always remelt them later. Again with the bubbles. Oh, 
while those solidify, let's melt some more stuff. Right, there was the last bit of uh, the bowl. Get back to that in a bit. Let's see how this came out. First the owl. There we go. And a nice little owl. This stuff is uh, slightly more speckled for some reason. I don't know. Speckled owl. Spider-Man just slides out. See about Superman with the bubbles. This thing keeps getting bubbles. And oh, a lot of shrink in the, in the low parts. Batman logo came out okay. Wow, there is no there's no star in there. That's one big sinkhole. Pop this back in here. Still liquid though, so. Yeah, that'll melt. Superman too. Still not getting any decent Superman out of this. There, get in there. Oh, great. Yep, Spidey came out nice. Oh, and these came out pretty decent as well. Not sure why, but these are all more gray and speckled. Must be a different type of pewter. So it has something else in it, probably. Let's uh, remelt this because now this is solid. In the shadow. What else? Not the best angle. Overspilled. Well, another Spider Man then. Well, almost. Batman came out okay. Let's see here. Owl. Another nice owl. 
tiny dimple at the belly. Controllers. Ugh, mess. Oh wow. I expected these to go way less. Nintendo controllers actually just about perfect. This has a tiny overspill which I can probably get off, but uh, all the details got on on there. Same for the Sega and the Xbox. All is okay. See about the Spider-Man. There, slide right off. Whee, what? Oh, he has some dimples in his forehead. But now that I've remelted this stuff the second time, it's not as um, gray. It's more shiny now. Right. Oh, this one is quite hot. Looking good. Again, a small shrink hole on the side. I haven't had that before with other skulls. Again, shrink hole. The others didn't have that. At least not that I know of. I'm gonna keep remelting this uh, Captain America shield. I think this the thing is just too small. Yeah, let's uh, melt what's left and see what we can make. And then I'm going to pile everything up and show you uh, what I got. Because uh, now I'm uh, all the way through all the pewter. Batman first. You can already tell that it didn't come out completely. Not bad though. Too bad about the ears. This is just too small to get into, I guess. Not Spidey. Turn him around later. Whee, hot. And again, a shrink hole on the side. Why? Why does this keep happening? The owl. Tiny little bit of bubbling. Maybe need to reapply uh, the powder. See Batman logo. Tiny shrink hole there as well. Game controllers. Oui, hot, hot, hot. Wow. So yeah, Sega came out. That's hot. Sega came out okay. 
Xbox came out kind of okay. PlayStation has a hole in it, and Nintendo has a hole in it. Right, oh, Spider-Man. Spider-Man kind of okay. Tiny dimple here. Right, I'm not going to be filming uh, the rest of this. I'm going to uh, keep going until I have no pewter left. And, uh, and no failed pieces. And then uh, I'll show you the complete uh, set that I got from all this, uh, all this pewter. So, the end result of today, after using all these molds, or most of them at least, I didn't use the chocolate bars over there. Um, I have some more uh, Lego blocks in different shapes and sizes. And I think I have a couple more Lego men in uh, slightly different sizes. But basically these are all the different ones that I have for now. I will be getting more because this stuff is uh, turning out uh, really good and really fun. Some of them don't actually work. The Batman hasn't come out uh, good once because of the small points in the... Uh, on the top and the bottom. The Superman keeps getting a lot of bubbles. Uh, the Minion I haven't uh, tried uh, a lot yet, but I had three failures and kind of gave up on this thing. I will try again in the near future, maybe on camera, maybe off camera, I don't know. Um, the, the controllers came out uh, pretty bad in the beginning, but they got gradually better. So um, here is all the stuff that I made there. Quite a uh, collection, except for this one, because I made this the last video. Uh, all the stuff here is what I made today. So I got uh, quite a number of these game controllers and I'm thinking these will be quite popular. And actually the last couple came out really well. Especially the, the Nintendo controller here, you can even read A and B on them. And um, on the Sega controller, if you look closely, you can even see A, B, C on the buttons here. And uh, the PlayStation controllers even have the little arrows. So uh, yeah, the controllers actually gave me an idea because I have like eight uh, NES controllers and I probably could use one to make a mold of. This is quite an easy shape. And I can maybe uh, do some sand casting and make a NES controller ingots. And those will be cool for giveaways. Speaking of giveaways, if anybody sees anything that they like, send me an email, tell me which one you like, and maybe I'll get back to you and send you some out. Now, this stuff on top here, these three spoons have shrinkage, and uh, I noticed that the grenade has a huge hole. So I will probably be remelting these. The Lego blocks are kind of like ingots, I um, don't really like them, and this is the only one of the smaller skulls that I made, which I still don't really like because it, it keeps... Uh, failing there's a defect in the mold i think so i will not be making that anymore this one was uh, only uh, filled up uh, partially so i will also be remelting that one but except for the stuff on top here this i will remelt another time and cast some more of uh, the stuff that i have so if you like a little owl or a Spider-Man or a small Batman logo. This is the Michael Keaton Batman. Um, the Tim Burton Batman. Tim Burton being the director. So I had a lot of fun uh, messing around with all this pewter. Hope you liked the video. And uh, keep an eye out for more. See you on the next one.